What's up guys? In this video, I wanna tell you exactly what you need to do when you're trying to add a whole number to a fraction. And the simple answer is just something very basic, is rewrite your whole number as a fraction. And all you simply need to do is just go ahead and write it over one, right? And that makes sense because if I had like a three over one, well, how many times is one evenly divided into three? That is just going to be equal a three times. Now, why do I wanna convert my whole number into a fraction? Well, when we're adding fractions or subtracting fractions, we have to have the same denominator, right? We have to have what we call our like terms, meaning the denominator has to be the same because then all we're simply gonna do is apply the operation to our numerator, even if it's addition or if it's subtraction. So in this case, you can see that I rewrote my five divided by one. And now I need to say is like, all right, well, what is my least common denominator between one and three? And that is going to be the smallest number that one and three both divide into. Now, sometimes we get into a trick where we can just multiply the two denominators and yeah, that does work, but not always in the case. A lot of times what you wanna do sometimes is also list the multiples of them. But in this case, hopefully you can recognize that one divides into three, three times, and three divides into three, three times. So they both divide into the number three, and that is going to be the smallest number that they both divide into. So in this case, my LCM, or I'm sorry, least common denominator, my LCD, it's just gonna equal three. Now on this right-hand side, I've already obtained a three, so I don't need to do anything. But on this left-hand side, what I need to do is multiply by three on the bottom as well as on the top. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're producing what we call equivalent fractions. If I had two thirds, right, as long as I multiply by a four in the top as well as on the bottom, I'm now going to obtain a eight over 12. Well, an eight over 12 is equivalent to a two thirds, right? Their measure is going to be exactly the same. They're not exactly the same fraction. They have different numerators and different denominators, but the measure, especially if you were to simplify the fraction eight over 12, then what you would do is you'd get the same measure as far as two thirds. So we have to make sure we produce equivalent fractions. And so there, what that means then is whatever you do in the numerator, you have to be able to divide do in the denominator. So in this case now, I'm gonna have a 15 thirds plus a two thirds. And now you can see that my denominators are exactly the same. So all I need to simply do is go ahead and apply my operation to my numerator and leave my denominator alone. And we're all set.